Inheritance describes an is a relationship. A corporate customer is a customer. And so the corporate customer class inherits from the customer class. You can think of an interface as a contains a relationship. Let's return to our example of houses. A class is a blueprint, and we might have a blueprint for a house. But a house is pretty abstract. You don't build a house, you build a type of house. So a Victorian is a house, a ranch is a house, a townhouse is a house. Okay, so those classes would inherit from the house class. Now, you implement an interface, and that says that you agree to include specific functionality. So, kitchen is an interface. A house agrees to implement a kitchen, and the kitchen has properties and methods, the properties being size, um, where the sink is, etc. So, kitchen could be an interface, bathroom, bedroom, these are interfaces. These are, these are smaller pieces that go into the building of a house. So, you can take that example back over to our more concrete example of the customers, and we created a interface for corporate customers and an interface for corporate sales. And the corporate sales interface contained just those properties and methods that related specifically to corporate customers and their sales. So you inherit from a class and gain a broad brush of properties and methods, everything in that class. The interface gives, the, gives you the ability to implement a smaller subset of functionality typically related to a particular task.